Christmas. How Jesus is born anew in every heart. Why? In humans, there is a physical birth that affirms our existence, becoming the memorable day of our birthday, entering the birth of Jesus Christ, an event celebrated annually as Christmas, we recall the moment that marked human history with the descent of the Son of God as true man and true God, the Kingdom of Heaven among us. Apart from considering Christmas or Jesus' birthday in our human way, Jesus is born in various ways because He is God. For all true followers of Jesus, there is the birth in the Spirit. John 3, verse 3. Jesus said to Nicodemus, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. This new birth of water and spirit occurs through baptism in our openness to the Holy Spirit. Man is born only once because he is human. But Jesus, being God and man, not only was born in Bethlehem, but continues his daily birth in different ways. In his omnipresence, God is everywhere, in all times, in all creatures, and in all creation, because God is life and fills everything with his divine presence. Jesus came to give us eternal life through the offering of his death on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins. And being God, he does so omnipresently in various ways. In his infinite and eternal divine attributes, Jesus truly is born on the altar during the consecration of bread and wine by the holy hands of the priest. He also offers himself to the Father as a perpetual sacrifice for the expiation of our sins. If not, then, when receiving the Holy Eucharist, when we eat of his body and drink of his blood, the word of God would contradict itself if that body and blood were not truly present. But Jesus, the immutable word of God, has told us regarding the consecrated bread and wine by the priest. This is my body and this is my blood. 1 Corinthians 11 verses 24 to 26 Similarly, the birth of Christ occurs anew each time we receive him in the Holy Eucharist for him to enter our hearts, or each time we pray asking him to be born in us, making us a new Bethlehem, a new cradle for baby Jesus. For God is a spirit who delights when we worship him in spirit and in truth. A spirit, Jesus desires to fill us and asks for repentance as a condition since we are temples of His Spirit. God in His patience comes to us repeatedly, repeatedly, due to our weak nature that enthrones evil spirits in our temple with sin. Christ must be born in us daily, to live in us and achieve our sanctification. So, we can say, like St. Paul, it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Amen.